The heater motor includes the motor with the wiring harness installed. The heater motor rotates the blower wheel, so your bathroom fan will blow warm air. After years of use, the heater motor can wear out and fail. Replacing the heater motor is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless drills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. Before performing any repairs on your bathroom fan, be sure to turn off the circuit breaker for safety. For demonstration purposes, I'll be working on this bathroom fan on my workbench. But of course, your fan will be mounted on the ceiling. I'll begin by removing the lens. To remove the lens, I'll gently pry one side to release the tab, and then pull the lens away from the housing. Now I'll remove the light bulb, and I'll remove the nut that secures the reflector and the grill. The reflector plugs in to the side of the housing. Now I can remove the heater unit. First, I'll unplug the pigtail. I'll pull the wires from the clips and I'll remove the screw that secures the heater unit to the housing. Then I'll tilt the heater back and away from the housing. Now I can remove the heater element cover. Now I have access to and can remove the heater element. It's secured with nuts and screws. I'll use a screwdriver to secure the screw on one side and a nut driver to remove the nut. With the nuts removed, I can go ahead and remove the heater element. Next, I'll remove the thermal overload. This part is polarity sensitive. Notice that one end has a black cap on it, and that cap is pointing towards the outside of the housing. We'll need to remember that when we reinstall it. Now I can remove the wires from the heating element screws. Now I'll remove the blower. It's secured with a set screw. Now I'll remove the motor. It's secured with two nuts. Now I can install the new motor. I'll unwrap the wiring harness and align the motor with the housing. I'll use a magnet to begin installing the nut.
and then secure the nuts with a nut driver. Now I can reinstall the blower. I'll align the set screw with the flat on the motor shaft. I'll press the blower all the way down as far as it'll go and then back it off about an eighth of an inch. And secure the set screw. Now I can reinstall the heating element wires. You'll notice on the housing, there are labels to tell you where the wires go. Brown wire here, red wire here, and the third one isn't labeled, but it would be the black wire. I'll start with the red wire. I'll insert a screw through the eyelet, followed by a metal washer, the plastic washer with the hub on it, and then this goes through the housing. Then the flat plastic washer. Another metal washer. And a nut. And I'll go ahead and tighten it up. Next, I'll do the brown wire in the same way. And last, the black wires. Now I can replace the thermal overload. Again, remember the black cap points towards the outer housing. I'll secure the overload with two more nuts. And I'll go ahead and tighten up the nuts with a nut driver. Now I can reinstall the heating element. I'll place the heating element over the bottom screw. This screw is connected to the red wire. I'll install one of the nuts and I'll leave it just finger tight. Now I want to pull the heating element tight around the first hook, but I don't want to stretch it out. If I pull too hard, I'll deform the element. I'll place it around the hook, and then just work it back and forth in this manner around each of the hooks up to the top screw.
and I'll secure the top end of the element with the last nut. I'll go ahead and tighten up both nuts with the nut driver. And now I can reinstall the heating element cover. Now I can reinstall the heater unit. As I install the heater unit, I'll line the tab on the heater unit housing with the slot on the main fan housing. Once the tab is aligned with the slot, I'll rotate the unit in, hold it in place with and the secure slot it with the, on screw. the main fan housing. I'll place the wires back into the wire clips. And plug the heating unit in. Now I can plug the socket back into the receptacle. Wire clips. Now I can reinstall the grill. I'll slide the reflector through the grill. Align the tabs on either side of the grill with the cutouts on the reflector. Make sure I snap the socket wires back into the wire clip. And align the grill and reflector with the housing. And I'll secure the reflector and the grill with the nut. Next, I'll reinstall the light bulb. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the lens. I align the tabs Next, on the I'll lens reinstall the light bulb with the openings in the grill. I'll insert one tab on one side and then snap the one on the other side into place. And that's all it takes to install a new heater motor in your bathroom fan into place. And that's all it takes to install a new heater motor in your bathroom fan. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.